Welcome back to Vikings basketball with head coach Barrett Perry as the Portland State Vikings are finally back home. They just finished an eight-day, four-game road trip, went two and two on that trip. This Friday night, Portland State hosts CSUN, formerly known as Cal State Northridge. They now go by CSUN, the CSUN Matadors of the Big West Conference come in as part of a doubleheader, Portland State women versus Grand Canyon at 5 p.m. And then the Vikings play CSUN at 7.30, right here in the Viking Pavilion. Coach, you gotta feel good to be home. I know uh, the key elements here the first few days have been rest and recuperation, maybe for the coaches as much as the players. First of all, was it really only eight days? It, was, it, it felt like 18 days, but now we've been away for a long time, and then you throw that Oregon State trip in there as well. So. Uh, I thought our guys handled that travel really well um, and being as banged up as we were going two and two, playing some teams, winning a, winning a game at San Jose State, beating Grambling, who's a very good team, uh, and then playing down to the wire with uh, Santa Barbara and Oregon State. Uh, I liked who we were um, and who we're becoming and I think our guys are really getting what we do. And the Vikings uh, going into those games last week were without center Sal Nuhu uh, dealing with an ankle issue. Uh, Alonzo Walker uh, also having uh, some trouble with a heel issue. And that left the Vikings shorthanded and probably even more important against the teams you're playing very undersized. Talk about some of the adjustments you had to make in those games. Shorthanded or just short. Yeah, you know, we, we got short. We had to play small, especially against Santa Barbara and Oregon State, two big teams. And so we really had to adjust, especially at the offensive end, uh, playing smaller. And it worked for us, but it was kind of an on-the-fly type situation. We were hoping to have Zoe more for Oregon State. We didn't have Sal or Zoe for Santa Barbara, and that, that really left us short. But in both games, you know, we had the ball late in the game with chances to, to really uh, win a game. And so I thought we really competed. Uh, in the meantime, you know, when we've, when we've had to adjust like this, you know, other guys have gotten opportunities and really stepped up and done, done a good job. I thought Rashad really grew the last three or four games. I thought Marcus and Lamar really grew and got their opportunities and got better. And then, you know, the standbys did what they did. But uh, our group is getting better, and you can see them getting better um, since we were at home last. Okay, and now the status of those uh, young men. Uh, still a little bit up in the air for Friday. We'll see whether or not they're ready to go. Yeah. Uh, but what are the things you look for? Now you have to play with a smaller lineup. You have to play with uh, some different players than you would uh, normally anticipate playing with. What are some of the things you look for from your team to get the ex success that you need? Well, we always got to play hard, and I think our guys have always done that, and they really did that well on the road. You know, I was worried about us being tired or being beat up, but uh, they didn't show that once the lights went on. I thought we really competed in all those games, win or lose, in those wins and losses. So I was proud of that. And I think our identity is showing through. You know, we, we've used that word a lot the last couple of weeks with our team, making sure we do the things that we think we can be good at, pressuring the ball, getting steals, getting turnovers, getting on the offensive glass. You know, the last couple of games, you know, like I said, we played really big teams in Oregon State and Santa Barbara. And you know, su Sunday against Oregon State, we won the glass. So I thought that means that we really competed well and we got after it. And they say, you know, it's it's not always the size of the dog in the fight, but the fight in the dog. And yeah. I think if you saw that at Oregon State, if you watched that game on the Pac-12 network, they saw a team that never quit, always battled hard, and, and you know, against a lot of odds, gave themselves a chance to win in the final minute. Yeah, we had a chance to win the game. There's a couple different calls, and uh, you know, a free throw or two, as well as a couple shots around the rim. Uh, that if we got, I think we had them right where we wanted them. And you look back at the film, it was probably even uh, more apparent. So, you know, our guys are where they need to be. I don't love our record right now, but I think that we have a chance to come home and, and compete and get some wins, uh, and then go back on the road again. But we got to go one game at a time for sure. With North Northridge coming in, who just got a great win against Fresno State the other day. Now, uh, CSUN comes in here, and they don't have a great record, but as you said, they got a great win against Fresno State. And I think when you look at the schedule, they've maybe played the hardest schedule of anybody that you faced this year, so that probably plays into the record a little bit. So what are you looking for this Friday night? you got four more non-conference games to go, and what are, we, what are the Vikings trying to accomplish? Obviously a victory, but, but what are you looking for from your team? First and foremost, a win, yeah. And then second of all, you know, guys continue to step up and get better in their roles. Um, one thing that we knew, and you and I talked about this summer, is even though we have an experienced team, we do have a new team, a, a group of guys that haven't played a ton together. So I think this preseason is really, really crucial for us to continue to get time together out on the court. Um, you know, a stat I heard yesterday as far as this schedule that we put together, 
in the losses that we have to those five teams, um, they're 30 and seven. And so we've played some good teams. We've played some teams that are being very successful. And so we, we've put ourselves out there and, and had a good schedule and we're gonna continue to grow from it. But I like who we are. I'm not worried about us at all as far as, you know, I'm not coming back from games in wins or losses and going, wow, we really got a lot of mistakes going on. I just think we have a, a situation where we got to get healthy and we got to continue to get more experience together. And again, in those five losses, all those games, you look at the comparative scores, all very close games. So the Vikings are very competitive in every game they've played this year. All right, we're going to single out one guy right now because we just got word today we're filming this on Tuesday. Uh, Holland Boo Boo Woods named Big Sky Conference Player of the Week this week. He averaged over 20 points a game in the last three games over the past week. He's played excellent basketball for you. He's right on the verge of some milestones. He he could conceivably get to 1,000 career points on Friday night. He has a shot at that, and uh, assist and steals records are right around the corner. Mm -hmm. uh, tell us a little bit about how Boo Boo has advanced his game this year. Well, you know, two years ago, he just kind of got thrown to the fire as a freshman, and, you know, shortly after we started the season, we were playing people like Duke and Butler and Stanford and Cal and things like that, and we just threw him to the wolves and said, let's go. and. From day one, he's handled everything that we've thrown at him. He's He's been great, and he's continued to grow. I think the biggest thing for me, two years later as a junior now, you know, everybody sees all that he does with the basketball, shooting the ball, handling the ball, scoring the ball, taking care of other people with, with his passes and things like that. He's becoming a very good leader. His voice is getting stronger and stronger now as he's a junior. Um, and he's been here with me more than anybody. And so we have a lot of uh, water under the bridge with each other. and so. You know, we understand each other very well, and then it's very nice that not only is he the most experienced guy with me, but he's the point guard, he's the quarterback, and so um, yeah, he's just grown. He's grown off the floor and on the floor, and his game is better and better. I think people saw, you know, when they when they saw him the first home game, uh, his body is bigger and stronger than it's ever been. He had a great summer in the weight room, and I think you'll continue to see him have a great year. All right, there it is. The Vikings playing this Friday night, part of a double hitter here at Viking Pavilion as they host uh, the CSUN Matadors, and uh, it's Les Schwab Toy Drive. So bring a toy down, and you can get a free ticket into the game as well. Come on down, watch Vikings basketball. For all the information on Vikings basketball, go to GoVikes.com.